2007 on an 07 Mercedes SL350. This is the metal folding hardtop convertible. You can see this one's got the Brabus kit on it as well, which is really nice. All one colour silver, which is nice to see on a Mercedes of this age. But a bit wise, we're going to start off the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior, and then we'll go for a cold engine start. Now, we've had the roof up and down for the uh, photos. You check the website, you'll see that. Uh, it is working up and down a little bit slow, but it is working up and down. We will uh, add a video later on. I'm on my own today, so I will put a video on later on about that. So, body weight wise, we're going to start off with the bonnet. Nothing straight up the bonnet there, no dings, no dents, a few little stone chips, but that's all I can really complain about across the bonnet of this lovely Mercedes. Onto the headlights there, crystal clear on both sides, no cracks, no moisture. The bumper corner is scuff free on the right hand side. As you come across the bumper, a few little stone chips here and there, that's all I can whinge about on the bumper there. And again, left hand side, a little bit of a scuff on the corner, but it's on the rub strip itself, not a natural bumper. And again, a few little stone chips, that's all really to whinge about there. Looks nice with that Brabus. Uh, sort of kit on it, front front, re front and rear bumper, side skirts and the spoiler in the exhaust system. Nice. Alloys all the way, AMG alloys all the way around on this one. Around the front wheel arch, no rust, no corrosion, no dings, no dents. Lovely entirely down that right hand side front wheel arch. As I work my way backwards onto the driver's door, you'll see same condition throughout. Lovely entirely on that driver's door. No dings, no parking dents, nice and tidy around the handle. No big chips out the back edge of the door there, loving straight down the whole door. The wing wear cap is crack free on both sides, which you can see there. Up onto the metal folding roof itself, loving straight across the roof. No corrosion on the corners where we normally get a few little stone chips across the front edge, you can see there, but no rust. The odd light surface scratch on it where it's been washed over the years. A little bit of a scuff mark on the back of the roof there at the rear pillar. Coming back down that rear quarter and rear arch again, no corrosion coming through anywhere, no nasty marks, one or two little stone chips here and there, and a little bit of engraved dirt here and there, but apart from that, lovely and fresh, no dings, no dents, no rust, and like I say, one shade of silver as well. Coming backwards onto the rear bumper, you'll see no scuffs or scrapes on the bumper corner, we've got parking sensors there, the rear lights are lovely and clear all the way around. No complaints there at all. Lovely and tidy across that back bumper. No scuffs on the left-hand side. And lovely and straight all the way across. We have a little bit of a scuff above the exhaust pipes there on the left-hand side. And again, that Brabus rear bumper with the Brabus badges on the back. The bootlid itself is lovely and tidy. No heavy scratching, no big dings or dents across the bootlid there. Lovely and fresh down the boot. And again, nice and level down both sides. Coming round onto the left-hand side. Again, it's as straight as you're going to find. No dings, no dents down there that I can see. Lovely and tidy. No nasty marks around the aerial, no pain flake, no rust coming through on the arch there. Lovely and straight all the way down that arch as you come down that lovely Brabus styling kit there down the side. No complaints down the quarter. Another lovely uh, 500 SL500 alloy there. Pirelli's on the back by the looks of it. Pirelli's on the front as well. Lovely and tidy down the passenger door. No scratching around the handle. No big chips out the back edge of the door there. Once again, wing wear cap is scuff free. Up onto the roof and you'll see no rust again on the corners where we normally get it. There's no corrosion and no rust on the back section there. A little bit of fade to the plastics there. Coming forward onto that front wheel and wing. And again, nice and tidy. on a tiny little bit of bubbling just starting at the bottom there underneath the paint on the left-hand side front wheel arch. But apart from that, I've got no other complaints with that wing. Loving straight down that left-hand side as well. Looks nice with that body kit on. Interior-wise, black leather on this one. Door card itself is in lovely condition. You've got uh, heated memory electric front seats on the driver's side there with three memory settings. Lovely and tidy on the door card itself. You'll see we've got Brabus light up plates on there as well. Lovely and tidy up the seat there with only minimal wear. A little bit of discoloration to the bolster on the left-hand side. No rips, nor is there any tears there at all. Lovely and tidy across the steering wheel as well. Nice and tidy. No, no real wear to the buttons. You normally get a bit of wear on the, on the SLs, but nice and tidy. Dials are lovely and clear. You can see the mileage there on 91,023. So good miles as well. Dashboard is unmarked. Nice and standard all the way down there. No nasty marks on the alley trim there. Lovely and clean and tidy. And again, armrest, minimal wear on the armrest there. Uh, oh, into the boot now. There we go. And again, nice and tidy in the boot. You've got your load cover, that's got to be down. Boot carpet's all nice and clean and tidy. Lift that up and we'll see if there's a spare wheel in there. They don't have a spare wheel on these, but you've got your, our space saver spare wheel, sorry, and your tool kit and bits and pieces in there. All nice and tidy in the boot as well. Onto the left-hand side front. And again, onto driver's door card, unmarked there. No rips or tears. Electric memory seats. 
of the bolster itself, lovely and tidy. And again, nice and clean and tidy on there. No rips or tears to the bolster. Minimal wear, really. All nice and straight across the left-hand side. Into the engine bay now. 3.5 litre Mercedes V6 engine. All lovely and tidy in there. On my own, so you'll have to bear with us while we we'll fire it up. Key in. Firing straight into life with no hesitation whatsoever from that. Ticking over nice and happy there. No complaints at all with that. There you have it, that lovely looking 2007 07 Mercedes Benz SL 350 3.5 V6 automatic box with the Bravis kit on there. Lovely one shade of silver as well.